Hey all, uh, another video on um, Ubuntu and uh, how to mount uh, another hard drive on startup so it's a uh, part of your uh, system. So if you see here, um, this has 8.6 gigabyte volume. If I just click it, it's all it demounted. But uh, what I want to do, say unmount, is have it mounted at startup. So the first thing we should do is uh, Open a terminal in uh, Ubuntu, which is usually uh, Control Alt T, in case you didn't know. And we'll do a sudo mkdir slash, and you call it whatever you want, backup, for example. And you type in your password. And we'll do an ls of, of slash, which is root. And you can see right here. Backup has been created. Then we have to find the uh, where location of our second hard drive. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can do a sudo fdisk l for list. And we see the other, the second device. Our root home um, Ubuntu is SDA1, and the second one is S, uh, SDB1. Okay. So what you do from there is sudo mount slash dev sda sorry b1 to slash to the folder we made backup. Now we notice in our uh, side panels, uh, I keep forgetting the name of this thing the unity bar whatever uh that icon the of the backup drive has disappeared because now it's uh mounted in the file system so if you go to computer under devices you see backup and there's our backup um, partition which is a has a clonezilla image in there okay so that will keep until we reboot so we wanted to make it uh Consistent. So again, we want to unmount that. So it's a sudo u mount and then uh, slash backup. And you see now that the icon's back. All right. So far, so good. So I'll clear the screen. And another command we need for uh, Ubuntu is a sudo. B L K I D, and now we can see that uh, S D B one has a U U I D, and this is what we want here. All right, so we'll copy that, and just for the sake of trying to make things a little easier, we'll open another terminal. We'll type in sudo G edit, press tab on your keyboard to complete G edit if you wish. Uh, slash E and then press tab again, FS, FS table or file system table or FS tab, F tab, <laughs> call it what you wish. Okay, so you can see the UUID and that's our device SDA. That's a, that's, these are just comments, okay, with the whatever you want to call those, the pound or the number, numbers, pound or the number symbol. So what we need here is uh, we'll go to the end of the document, press enter, and again we want U U I oops I D equals, and we go back to our other terminal. We'll copy this because that's S S T B one, so copy, and then in here just paste that in so we don't have the codes, so we don't need it. And then under the slash here, just uh, press the space bar and then be back up the folder that we made. Back up. And we'll just space bar over. It's the same extension. Four. And then uh, defaults should work okay for the. And then uh, zero, zero. 
or if you want to keep it uniform, go right underneath the one there. And then uh, save and close. And exit this terminal. And we can do uh, what's going on here. Ubuntu is being strange again. And we'll just issue a sudo reboot. All right, so after a reboot, you can see that that uh, drive is no longer there in the sidebar. Go to our computer, see our backup is now part of the system. So I think the best way is uh, just open a terminal and type in ln dash s slash macup and backup whatever you want to call it and now we see our backup directory here and we can uh range icon by name okay and you notice it's locked okay um i wouldn't su suggest uh changing uh the owner um what i would suggest though is like say if you want to make a another folder so you can't make a new folder so we'll go to the terminal again And in sudo mkdir slash backup slash whatever you want to call it uh, extra and your password. And you can see now it's been changed to, you can see in the background, we now have a folder properties, permission, it's that it's locked. So to do, to have that as extras, your own folder, sudo cho uh, dash capital R, your username, I believe, and then slash backup slash extra. Now I'm going to that folder now. You can see now you can create a new folder or a new document because you're the owner you're of that folder, but you're not the owner of the root directory backup. If you look in your back to your home folder, it's still locked, but this this folder isn't locked anymore. Okay, that's basically how you do it. Uh, you just follow those steps, and uh, if you have more than one hard drive or even one partition partitioned hard drive, um, you can create that as well using the uh, unique identifier, or whatever it's called, system um, in Ubuntu. Okay. So that should be it for this one. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to add them. And thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.